everybody. Welcome back to Reflections. Today, I would like to talk to you about reflecting on truth because that's what we are all craving and that's what we've been talking about lately. So I want to tell you a little story about uh, yesterday. Um, I was speaking to a friend and they said, I wonder if people feel the way they do about the media right now about church and Christianity because there are so many different messages out there about Christianity. And I, and I thought, yes, absolutely. I 100% feel that, that people think that about Christianity right now and probably before that, um, which is why a lot of people don't want to hear any of it because a lot of us conflict each other. Um, so with that being said, how do we find truth, right? There are... There are so many different religions and this, this New Age Christianity thing where, where we are taking the actual truth, the Bible, and we are changing it, we're corrupting it, we're modernizing it, um, and we're, we're making it fit our, our modern world and what our agendas are as people, as government, as, as whatever, as a church, as a religion. Um, and that's not the message that God or true Christians want to send to the rest of the people. Um, a, a little scary a little scary story. I saw somebody else yesterday uh, post on Facebook. Um, they just shared uh, a post from another church, and it's like one of these big mega churches, and they have their big online ministry, and they, they shared this post. And I'm curious now of, of all these, these churches. So I just I clicked on it to see who, who the leader of this church was and who their, their main pastor is that's sending these messages. And it takes five minutes to do this, guys. So I highly recommend before you start to follow somebody or follow a church that you do the same thing. But I, I looked this guy up, right? And in five minutes, I read his biography and it said like, you know, he studied Christianity and, and there was nothing alarming in his biography until I got to his... Um, his early life where it stated that he built his entire idea and theory on how he functions based on this book that he read when he was younger. And I thought, okay, let's look at this book. Because although all his teachings appear to be Christian, I want to see what is actually guiding this man. Because the first alarming thing is if you're a pastor of so many people in such a large church in a Christian faith, that book that guides your life should be the Bible, not a different one, okay? So I wanted to see what this book was because this man not only said that it, it guided his life, but that he rereads this whole book every single year to make sure he stays focused and on track. So I pull up this book. Again, this, 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 all, this whole thing took me five minutes. Pull up this book and I'm like, okay, who's the author? And the author was this man who, his, his biography was, was quite alarming. Um, he was a liar. He was um, he was indicted for fraud. He pretended to be an attorney at law at one point in his life. He covered up. Uh, uh, this was like back in like the 20s or 30s. He covered up the the murder of a black man at the time um, in like a law office. Uh, a lot of things. And then he quoted quite proudly that he wrote a couple of books. One of the books that he wrote, um, he said he was guided in writing the books by these spirits that speak to him, okay? And the spirits had a name, and I clicked on that, and it was obviously demonic spirits because that's not a God thing. That's not how that works. And he was saying that the master of these spirits was, was teaching him and telling him how to, how to write these books and exactly what to say. And I'm like, okay, giant red flag, right? So this pastor, Christian pastor, leading this mega church of millions of people around the world, probably thousands at minimum, and at least my friend who's sharing it on Facebook has set up their whole life and their work and their ministry and reread every year this book written by this man who's guided by demonic spirits, okay? So here, here's the alarming thing in that. Obviously, that's not the, the kind of focus and follow that, that we want to push you towards. And you say, yeah, this is exactly why uh, we feel this way, like we do about the media, that there is no truth and, and forget it all. We don't want to follow anyone. And I completely agree with you. I have been saying for a very long time, 
stop following people, stop following religions. Um, I'm going to read uh, Matthew 7, I'm going to start at 713. This is Jesus, right? He says, enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few will find it. He says, watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Okay, and then skip down a little bit. He says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform any miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you away from me, you evil doers. Hmm. So that's that's alarming, right? That's scary. And and the part that stands out is they come to you in sheep's clothing and they're actually ferocious wolves. So I think People do a very good job of staying away from, uh, you know, the scare, like the cults, right? Like, oh, we know that's, we know that's bad. We know that, you know, being a mason is bad, and we know that all these other witchcraft things are bad. But I think what the biggest deception is right now in the world is cr certain Christian groups and Christian churches. People, people in them and following them, truly believe that they are saved and that that they're going to heaven. But they're not actually following the same Jesus. You have to follow the right Jesus, guys. And the only way to find him, the only way, again, I'm going to say I'm going to be a broken record, is to get forget about church. I'm sorry. Sorry, churches. Sorry to my church. Forget about church. Forget about people. Forget about pastors. Okay? If you want to read a book or something, read this first entirely. Then you'll know... When you see something or you hear a pastor talk, you see a sermon, you see a book, you'll, you'll, you'll have the wisdom to know if it's by this word or not. You can look people up very quickly. You can find out what they're actually all about because there is, there is this tricky way that they do it. They, will, they take a lot of the truth and they kind of stretch it out and they, they don't really have like a, a blanket way of saying it's truth. They kind of make it so that at the end of the conversation or the end of the sermon, you don't really know what they said and you're confused. You shouldn't feel confused. It's very clear. God makes everything he wants you to know very, very clear. So if you go in with an idea or they start with a question and it's a controversial issue especially, and you, you end with not really know what they're trying to say and you're confused, that's, that's a red flag. So please read your Bible. Use that as your truth. It's the only truth. Then again, if you want to continue, and, and there's a lot, there are, there are a lot of great pastors, guys, but unfortunately, there are some churches out there, actually a lot of churches. God said in the end days, there will be many. There will be tons of false churches and false prophets and false teachers, and they, they're trying to deceive you. So don't worry about religion. Don't worry about churches. Get yourself a Bible, and again, I will offer a free one to you. If you would like it, I will send you one. Please just read your Bible, and then you will have wisdom to discern whenever you are not hearing truth. So that's what I have to say. Reflect on that. Read your Bible, and you guys will be better off and wise to all the deceptions out there. I love you, and God loves you. I'll talk to you soon.